Okay, good. Um, let's continue on a bioreactor example. A uh, very short case study, and then we go to a longer one again. So this is a case study of a two liter batch reactor in the lab. And what you can see here, these color gradients, they show the local concentrations of certain species. In this case, oxygen, dissolved oxygen, ammonium, and nitrates. Uh, you can visualize all kinds of things, but the message here is if you look at a two liters bioreactor, you already have significant gradients. So it's very hard to even at a small scale to have, let's say, complete mixing. Um, which is often assumed definitely in small scale systems. Um, so this was a study actually conducted a few years ago by Usman, who's in this call. Of course, if you would start changing the inlet and outlet and diameter or bubble size, things like that, it would have a drastic impact on the process performance. That's one example here. But a very easy to understand example is this one. It's also a bioreactor, but a very different scale. Now we are not talking about two liters but we are talking about 1,500 cubic meters. So let's play the movie. Um, so this is actually a bioreactor where pure oxygen is injected via two mixing devices. Yeah, so the oxygen comes in and you see that near the bottom, you have a dead zone. Bad mixing, dark blue zone near the bottom. We did a very small design change. We only changed them half a meter and then you rerun the simulation and you can see that you have much higher velocities with the same mixing energy. It's a very fast movie, I know, but uh, you can watch it again at our YouTube channel. Um, but it just illustrates, it, it, it just to make you aware, if you do something very small, it can, it can have a big impact without knowing it.